Do you have any issue with us standing here taking video? No, but I'm gonna stand right here. You're gonna stand here for? I'm just gonna stand here and follow you around. You're gonna stand here and follow us around? Yeah. How's it going guys? Amagansett Press and we are coming to you today from Rapid City, South Dakota. Uh, we are at the Dakota Credit Union here in Rapid City and we're just going to pay a little visit on these folks here today and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. I am out with watching the Watchmen today and uh, let me give you a little view of the neighborhood where we are here. We have a uh, truck and auto body shop next door. Some construction across the street. And while I'm doing that, time and temperature check. Today is Wednesday, June 1st. Happy June, 2022. It is 10.53 a.m. and it is 63 degrees, sunny and absolutely beautiful in Rapid City, South Dakota. Um, I hope you uh, are doing something you enjoy doing with some people you enjoy being with and uh, hopefully you have a little sunshine where you are and if not I invite you to make your own they make it out there watchman what's, what's happening so uh yeah interesting little setup here today huh yeah we're on a bit of a busy road here um this is 44 and if uh for any reason there's a little noise while i'm out on the road shouldn't be but uh that'll go away when we get uh, back away from the road i'm going to take you out front here show you the sign out of the business get you a view of the other side of the building we'll take it from there so stand by Now that we're down here by the road, let me just give you a look at that. Again, this is Highway 44, which leads to uh, 16. And this is St. Patrick Street, and uh, this is the way into town. Of something. Like what? Sorry? Like what? I can't discuss it right now. A lot of times people ask questions like why don't you explain yourself to people when they come out um you know if somebody came out and said what are you guys doing and i said well i'm just here uh testing the waters doing a first amendment audit to find out if you will respect my right to take video and photographs in public um that's given up the whole thing and that will alter the way they respond and uh you know just like i've said it before everything is very subjective and they'll read into that however they want to read into it uh, their political beliefs, whatever they're, whatever. They'll just, you know, so I like to initially try to give as least information as possible. Um, I'm just doing as I do out here. I don't owe you an explanation and, uh, you know, try not to be rude about it, but it is what it is. And the fact of the matter is, there's a woman standing in the door there staring at me. Uh, fact of the matter is, we don't owe you an explanation. I am not on their property. Um, they have no right to uh, govern what goes on outside of their property. They can ask. Uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with them asking, and I have no issues with that. Um, 
But you know, if we don't want to share with them, uh, why they go right into fear and, and panic mode, if that's the case, what's going on, I don't understand. Uh, some people will just go back inside, go back to work and ignore us. And uh, that's probably what you should do. Um, you know, people are going to be outside in the street, in public, doing things that you don't understand, um, that you don't approve of sometimes. Um, but, you know, if that's what they want to do and they're not creating a victim out of anyone and uh, they're not infringing on your rights, what's the difference when anybody's doing? And that's the point we're out here to prove. We are out here to... Uh, exercise our right to take video and photographs in public and that is what it's all about that's it nothing else um, so part of that right is not to have to explain myself and uh, you know I, I always strive to educate the folks at the locations uh, that we're at as to why we're doing things before we leave uh, but I just don't like doing that after three years experience of doing this and all the subtle nuances and all the uh, you know, little ins and outs of what goes on here. You get to you get to know what's going on. You get to know people, and uh, just you know, showing all of your cards the second somebody comes out and asks you what's going on uh, doesn't really provide a uh, organic audit. So, just thought I'd explain that to you. So the w driver of the white van is asking the uh, teller why there's somebody outside filming and she just said, I have no idea. And just so you guys know, we are out on a public sidewalk. And uh, I would estimate I am probably, oh, a good uh, 50 feet away from that truck. So it looks like we have a uh, Rapid City Police vehicle coming up the street here. So it's uh, CTY 0845 is the license plate number. Didn't catch the car number. All right, so there goes the Rapid City Police vehicle that was just here leaving. Um, so what I am going to assume is uh, with great certainty is that the uh, police inform these people that we're not doing anything wrong. They know who we are. Um, and that there's nothing to worry about and just to go back to work and not, uh, not be concerned. And uh, I would love to see more police departments handle things this way. I mean, they actually took the ride out. I am uh, going to assume that uh, the reason they did that was just to come out and get a visual on us and make sure it was us before they told them there was nothing to worry about. So it was us. So the cop went up into the uh, KOA campgrounds here and there's another exit to the KOA on the other side. So he went up into this entrance and went out the other exit and uh, didn't even say a word to us, actually waved to me when I was, uh, when he was driving by. So, um, you know, any of you law enforcement out there that's listening, that's a, uh, it's a pretty good way to handle things. You know, why get into a mess? Uh, why get other people into a mess? Uh, you got to start understanding that people are out exercising their rights and uh, that suspicious crap doesn't always fly. You can't just pull suspicious on uh, the suspicious card on people because uh, you have nothing else. Um, it's not the way it works. Eventually, I'd like to see where people will call up the police if that's what they need to do and uh, report a scary man with a camera outside and uh, have the police ask, you know, have dispatch ask a couple of questions. You know, are they on your property? Are they threatening anyone? Are they creating a disturbance? Are they intoxicated? You know, any of that stuff. But just to kind of get a sense that there's really nothing going on and then just tell the people if they're just out with cameras out on a public sidewalk, there's really nothing we can do about it. If anything changes, call us back. You know, why send one, two, three, four police cars out because somebody's taking pictures? And then if you, uh, if you are going to come out, you know, law enforcement, you can do what they just did. Ride by. You know, you guys do that all the time. Ride by, see what's going on, assess it for yourself, because you know when people call you up, they embellish, 
Uh, people use 911 like their own personal venting uh, hotline, and uh, that's not right either. So any of you that are so uh, trigger happy to dial 911 instantly when something's going on that you don't understand, cut that crap out. 911 is for emergencies. 911 is not because your feelings got hurt or you got afraid of something. That's ridiculous. You have to uh, objectively obs uh, assess what's going on, and then if your objective mind decides that there is actually a threat, by all means, do what you have to do. Um, but, you know, if you're just going based off of your personal feelings and, uh, you know, I even believe some people have an interest in escalating things because it's exciting for them. You know, there's something going on at the bank today. There's something going on at the paint store today. And, uh, you know, there is that mentality. Life gets humdrum when you're at the same job every day, day after day. I did it for years, I know. Um, and then something different, something out of the norm, something exciting happens and you're all over it. And, uh, you know, if you could do that in a productive way, in a happy, smile, smiley, cheerful way, that would be great. And, uh, you know, it's really a shame that one of these people from the bank didn't come back out because at this point I would explain to her exactly what I'm doing. I would love to explain it to her, uh, but they were probably told not to come back out. So a lot of reactions to what we do are self-defeating in my opinion, and uh, cut you off from widening your view and expanding your horizons. Um, I always say, get out of your comfort zone, man. There's nothing in there for you. Watchman's over here getting a little footage of the auto body place next door. Now, here we go. Watchman was getting some footage at the auto body shop. Why you're filming? Oh, I'm gonna stay out of the conversation. You're filming too, so you don't have to stay out of the conversation. You're right. No reason? Well, obviously, there's a reason. I'm not saying there's no reason, but okay. like I said, what difference does it make? Because there's a reason. I'm just curious. Oh, yeah. I'm not interested in getting into it right now. So. Uh, do you feel like we owe you an explanation? It's just my business. I'm just curious why you're filming my business. No, and you asked. And you got and, the answer? And I got an answer that you're not wanting to tell me. Right. So that's why I, but my so next question was, do you feel like we owe you an explanation? I, I should if I know. I don't Whatever. Okay. You don't, you don't want to tell me? I guess you don't have to tell me. I'd love to know. Do you have any issue with us standing here taking video? No, but I'm going to stand right here. You're going to stand here for? I'm just going to stand here and follow you around. You're going to stand here and follow us around? Yeah. And the purpose maybe, of that? Maybe you'll tell me why you're doing it. Uh, well, I don't know. So you're going to stand here and follow us around in the hopes that that'll break me and then I'll decide <laughs> to tell you what's going on? I'm just curious why you're filming my business. Is that, so Is that unreasonable? Well, no. Because I don't know you. You don't know. I, you, do you, I? You certainly have the right to ask. Okay. But then what I'm, my follow-up question to that is to continue the conversation, sure. do you feel like we owe you an answer? Well, I'd love an answer. Do you owe me one? I don't, I don't know if you owe me one unless you tell me why you're filming. So it's, then if somebody's are out. Are you filming me so you can sue me for something or did I do something wrong? Do I, you deserve uh, to be sued? Did you do something wrong? Not that I'm aware something of. Something weighing on your I'm, conscience? <laughs> Not at all. Well, that's the first thing you went to. Not at all. I'm just oh, curious why you're right. filming my property. I mean, so then you're, you're, so you came out and you asked, right? Right. We're not ignoring you. Well, if two you. guys wandering around your property, would you come out and ask? No. Really? I wouldn't. No. If a guy rides by on a pink tutu on a unicycle, you're going to ask him why? That's different. That guy is that, why is the, that guy different? In the pink tutu standing on your property filming? No, the guy in the pink tutu probably has a covert camera that you can't see. I'm standing out here obvious as hell in broad yeah, daylight. I'm just curious. I, I got you. I don't care. I'm just curious. Well, no, you do care. Well, because I'm curious. Wouldn't you You're be worried curious? about being sued. Wouldn't 95% and, 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 of the people be curious why there's two guys with cameras staring at their building? Well, you know what? 95% of people probably would be curious. See, so yeah. there, I'm one of the but you know what? There's percent I'm the majority that's curious why you're filming well, my you, building. Well, being the majority is not always a good thing. You want to know? You want to know that. why? When the entire human race is running towards a cliff, the guy running in the opposite direction looks like he's nuts. Right? No, I right? get that. Yeah. See, now you're smiling. I, 
I get where you come from. I'm just curious why you're filming. If you well, don't I mean, tell you me, know, I'll walk away. I just well, that's you know what. Now why. that now that you're being like that, I'll 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 go ahead and tell you what we're doing. Okay. Um, you know the whole telling us you're gonna follow us around thing. Don't go that way because <laughs> we're nice guys. Everybody's not. Ninety ninety five percent of people might not be well, nice you people. You see my concern. I mean, I I don't know. I why. really don't see your concern. Okay. I don't, I don't really pay much attention to what okay. people do on public property. That's none of my business. That's okay. why it's public, designated as public property, okay. right? So what we're doing is, since you've kind of uh, sure. dropped your shoulders a little bit and smiled and we Absolutely. can have a relaxed conversation here. This is my son. My name's Jason. Okay. His name's Ben. Okay. And we've been traveling the country for the past three years. Sure standing up for our right to take video and photographs in public because it's a First Amendment right. Absolutely. And we believe that our Constitution in this country is taking a proverbial ass kicking right now and we're not very happy about it. Absolutely. And I believe that rights are like muscles. If you don't exercise them, they go away. And I'm not interested in my rights going away. And I might not be Superman and be the guy to save the world. Sure. And it might not be the most conventional roads that I take to exercise my rights. Sure. But that's the point and that's all we're doing. Um, you know, it's a very valuable thing to be able, for somebody to be able to go out in this country. You can't do this in all countries. You Absolutely. can't go out and gather information that's a matter of interest to the public and then go disseminate that information Sorry. to the public. That's what we do. That's called free press. Absolutely. So you're the press, I'm the press, everybody that gathers information and puts that information out to the public is a member of the press. Sure. And that's where you get your real information from. You're not gonna get your real information on TV from the major media networks. Right. You get your real information from the guys that are traveling Talk around Europe, doing vlogs, doing yeah. documentaries. You get real on the street, real deal information of what's going on, how people are handling things. Sure. Sometimes people call the police on us and then that gives me an opportunity to have a conversation with law enforcement. Sure. Uh, Cause as you know, in this country right now, there's a big gap between law enforcement and the citizens. And we are trying to do everything we can to give them an opportunity to close that gap and open up some dialogue and communication and try to, uh, cause I think talking things out Absolutely. is the best thing you can do in a lot of situations. So I was just being- I 100% support you. That's was, awesome. But now that I have that information, I have zero problem. And I didn't, just so you know, I didn't give you that information initially no, when I you came know. out because I want your organic you wanted, response. Absolutely, I understand That's that. all that is. Understand no, but that. I'm not looking to sue you and you didn't do anything wrong. Okay, I can you. promise you that. <laughs> not as far as I know. And I didn't think I did, but I was like, you just, you never know. Sure. So you, you own the know business? what people are looking for. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, right on. And that's your- you were the guy that came out to the, the truck, right? Red pickup. Yeah. Yep. I figured you were just trying to scope us out and see what was no, going actually, on. actually, I just, oh, I- some, I got some keys out of there. And I'll tell you what, no. in all in all honesty, I don't blame you for coming out and asking. And I don't blame anybody for asking any questions of anybody. You can ask anybody anything you want. My issue starts where somebody starts demanding answers. Sure. And then gets threatening and then gets a well, I'm gonna you didn't really go there, but other people take that, I'm gonna follow you around a little further. A little further. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. And you know, that's not necessary. No, it's really not. So hopefully the point I've given you today here is is that uh, you know, sometimes things are not what they appear. Yep. Don't go into fear and anxiety mode initially right, right away. Yeah, you know, 30 years ago when I was a kid, people used to jump in front of the camera, 40 years ago, used to jump in front of the camera and say, hi mom. Right. And people were desperate to be on the news, desperate to be on anybody's camera. Sure. You'd see tourists walking down the street, you'd be waving at them, I'm gonna be on their film for the rest of their life. Now all of a sudden it's fear and anxiety and that's not, right. that's gonna lead us all down a path that we don't wanna go down. So we're trying to bring back critical thinking. We're trying to bring back communication. And we're trying to bring back our freedoms that are in worse jeopardy than I think most people realize right now. Absolutely. We're no longer in a free country. There is no free press in this country. No, I will. I agree with that. So that, you know, once, once we can't have a free exchange of ideas, imagine that. Imagine a day where I can't stand out here and take pictures of your Absolutely. business. I get that. So that's all it is. Okay. Simple as that. Absolutely. And well, I'm sorry, what was your first My name? My name's Jamie. Jamie, Jason. Jason. Pleasure, sir. Ben. I appreciate you maintaining your cool. Sorry for the, no, no. Just, I think you, know you handled it, it better than most. Okay. I'll be honest with you. And I, I, I appreciate you uh, being open-minded enough to have the conversation because that's a lost art these days and it's a shame. Thank you. It really is. So let's let's try to talk more and work things out. Absolutely. I always say, you know, I'm not trying to, I'm not smarter than anybody. I'm out here getting an education every day myself. Right. And I always say, whether it's your kids, whether it's your wife, whether it's the people that are working for you, the person at the sub shop, when you go to get lunch, we got to talk to each other, man, and we got to understand each other, and we got to respect each other's right to do as we do. Sure, absolutely. We don't have to understand everything each other's does or don't approve have to of agree it. With each other, right. right, that's we it. We still have a civil conversation. Well, and we have to respect each other's right absolutely. to do as we. Yep. Because once my right to take video and photographs goes away, next they're coming after your right to do what you love. Right. Hunting, fishing, whatever oh, it might be. Right. There they are. Right. So, yep. that's absolutely. it.
Well, I appreciate you very much, man, and I appreciate the conversation, and I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy the sunshine. You too. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Well, all right, guys, I guess that's gonna wrap this one up here today. Um, always happy to be able to have a conversation like that with somebody. You know, you, uh, you plant a seed and it may die in the wind or it may turn into a 300 foot sequoia, who knows? Um, so we're out here trying to affect positive change. Like I said, we may have some un, uh, unconventional methods that people might not understand, but if they give me the opportunity and they follow up with me, I'm always happy to explain myself. I'm really uh, sorry that the people from the bank didn't come out um, and we could have had that same conversation with them and had a meeting of the minds, um, but they weren't interested in that today. Um, so maybe they'll speak to the guy at the auto body shop down the road, who knows, they are neighbors. Um, but that's it. So always like to remind you guys before we cut out that if you enjoy our videos, you like what we do and you want to support what we do, best way you could do that hands down is to like, share, comment, subscribe. All that stuff gets our videos out to more and more people so that more people can watch them, enjoy them, and hopefully learn a little something. Like I said, I'm out here getting an education every day. And uh, the best part of all that is it doesn't cost you a penny. Um, and I also invite you to do the same for watching The Watchman. The kid's doing great work. He's out here standing up for your rights, my rights, and his own rights. Um, trying to make it a better world. And uh, I'm very proud of him and uh, proud of the work he does. So I'll leave a link in the description to his channel. If you're so inclined, I invite you to check him out. Um, but that's it. So we're going to hop in the truck, head down the road, and see what else we could find for you here in Rapid City. We're going to be here for a little bit. So for now, coming to you, from Dakota Credit Union and New Miller Auto Body. Watching Watchmen, Amagansett Press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out. Hey, I just want to let you know where you can see the video if you're interested. Okay. Do uh, you want to put it on your phone or write sure. it down or something? It's a name of my channel. It's the name of the town I'm from in New York years ago. It's an old Indian word, so I'll spell it for That's you. That's all right. I'm going to go to a notes section here instead of... Or if you want to go to YouTube. I can, can do that too, phone? absolutely. Yeah, you can just type it right in and uh, my channel will come right up for you. Alright. So, uh, it's A-M-A. -A. Whoops, M-A. G-A-N. That's me at the top. Okay. Alright. We've awesome. done a couple of videos here in Rapid too, you might enjoy those. Okay. Yeah, we had some fun with the uh, Pennington County Sheriffs. <laughs> but I really sincerely appreciate you and I hope we encounter more people like absolutely. yourself and I hope you spread that around. And like and, said, uh, I apologize for being no, you don't have but nothing to apologize about. You handled yourself like a, like, a, like a real mensch, okay. like they say. Okay. And uh, I really hope it inspires you to kind of maybe, uh, I don't want to say improve because you seem like a very nice guy, but improve your relationships with the people you sure. work with and have conversations and maybe do a little more in that direction and get people back on track, man. This world's spinning out of control. Oh, I hear you. Yeah, but we appreciate you, brother. Thanks. Have a good day. Have Thank you. Day.